Hey internet, for this video I'm going to show a clever and low cost solution to having a security camera system using cheap Android phones. CCTV or closed caption TV security systems are pretty expensive. The ones that connect to the internet and have HD cameras are even more costly. With two apps and some cheap Android phones on eBay, you can create a security camera setup at home for as little as $20. First, you'll need a phone to act as a security camera. Go on eBay and search for Android phones that are fully functional, but with cracked screens or bad IMEs. These phones can go for as little as $10, especially ones that have both cracked screens and bad IMEs. For those that don't know, bad IME or IMEI means that the phone cannot be activated on a particular carrier. Having a bad IME drops a phone's value down considerably, but having a bad IME has no effect on the functionality of the phone when using Wi-Fi, which is the only thing we need for it to work as a security camera. I've opened up a new tab on some phones worth taking a look at. The only thing to look out for is to make sure the phone is fully functional. No bad touchscreen, no bad Wi-Fi. The phone's physical condition and IME doesn't matter. Top of the screen doesn't always respond, so this phone's out. So what about this phone? Can we turn it into a security camera? Nope, the touch screen is bad on this one too. Okay, how about this one? Yes, this is one to get. It has a working touch screen. I would spend some time digging on eBay. You can probably find ones as low as 18 bucks like this one right here. Just make sure the phone is capable of running at least Android version 4.2 to use IP webcam app. The value of a phone with a cracked screen or bad IME drops dramatically. A $100 phone with a cracked screen and bad IME can go for as low as $20 on eBay. Even though that phone will probably be never used again as a phone, it can still be used for other applications such as a dedicated security camera. Some good Android phones to look for with cracked screens or bad IMEs are the LG Leon and LG L90. Both have a good HD camera and are usually under $25 for cracked screen and bad IME ones. Just know, you want a phone that has a working camera and Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter if it looks like crap since you'll only be using it as a camera. So the basic checklist for the phone in this project are cracked screen, bad IME, or both, at least running Android version 4.2, and it is fully functional with working Wi-Fi. Also get an extra long USB charging cable, as the phone needs a continuous supply of power to operate as a security camera. But I doubt you'll need them, because by now everyone should have a crap load of USB cables. Okay, let's take a look at one of the apps you'll need. The first app you'll need is for the phone that is going to be used as the security camera. The app is called IP Webcam. It's free on Google Play Store. Open IP Webcam. There's a bunch of options like effects for increasing contrast in the dark, settings, and motion detection but I'll go straight to the quick setup and leave it up to you how you want to set up the camera effects. Press cloud streaming. This will allow you to access the camera from anywhere using a smartphone or web browser. Check cloud streaming active. Press yes. You'll need to make an iVideon account to use cloud streaming. So make that real quick and make sure you have a very secure password so only you and people you authorize can access the security cam. Once the iVideo account is created, log into it with the IP webcam app. Press yes. Okay. Go back to the main menu. Scroll down and press start server. You can view your security cam with a browser by going to iVideon.com or by using the iVideon app. The second app which I just mentioned is iVideon, which is available for both Android and iPhone. 
Install the app on your main phone, that is, the one you're not using as a security cam. Just know, this does not replace a dedicated CCTV system. It is only for those who can't afford one or install one. Like if you rent an apartment and the landlord does not allow hole drilling for CCTV cameras. Aside from being a cheap solution, it is also versatile, as you can even camouflage your phone security cam by putting it behind a picture frame. Here's some examples of where I set up the camera around the house. Window looking over my backyard. Room hallway. And my dog enclosure. This is especially handy for pet owners. Whenever I'm away from home, I always obsessively check the IP cam to make sure my dog is okay. The phone cameras need to be plugged in at all times, like a dedicated CCTV camera would. So if you don't have an outlet nearby, you may need to get extra long USB charging cables. Now I'm going to show how the interface works for iVideon on both mobile phone app and the computer browser. After installing the iVideon app, log on to the same account you signed on to while on the IP webcam app. If done correctly, the active cam should be displayed here. Press on the cam you want to enlarge and view live. I'll view the cam I put on my door that records the backyard. It may take a few seconds to load the camera. I can see there's someone outside walking around. That's probably my dad. There's also some settings you can tinker with, like rotating the camera, adjusting quality, and turning off the camera. But I'll leave that for you to play with. Now for the browser version of iVideon. Go to iVideon.com. Log into the account your security cams are logged into. Just like the mobile version, click on the camera you want to enlarge and view live. There are settings to play with here as well, but of course I'll leave that up to you again since I'm merely showing that this security camera alternative exists. Also, some things to add before ending the video. Disable anything on the phone that may do an automatic download or update of another app, as it may cause the internet connection for the IP webcam app to drop, causing you to have to restart the phone for the IP webcam stream to work again. There's a lot of settings to play with on the IP webcam app. Maybe in a future video I'll cover that. But for this video, I just want to show the security system exists and is an alternative to those who, for whatever reason, cannot install a CCTV system in their home. And that's it. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.